Mark Lobliner with Van. You can pronounce your last name. Yarbrough. <laughs> Yarbrough. Um, here, Yarbrough. With Bro, here with Bro Fitness. And uh, the website will be up soon, bro-fitness.com. Oh yeah, it's official. We're taking, you know, now that TMW has left us and gone into that whole hippie intermittent fasting, we, we miss you guys. You know, I'm going to do an intervention. We we're just talking about that. You guys need to come back. You got shirts that say bro science and you're fasting. Where's your six to eight meals a day? Come back. Six to eight meals when you're trying to lose weight. Yeah, the, the, the cortisol's squirting all over the place. It's fucking ridiculous. I mean, they can't be making any, any. Gains, eating like that. No kinds of gains. Now, I mean, do cortisols, their testosterones, all that shit down the drain. Speaking of drain, let's talk about the mind muscle connection. Should have probably talked about intermittent fasting, but we'll do that. We'll, we'll, we'll mention them again. But anyway, mind muscle connection. Um, what's our thoughts on the mind muscle connection? We actually get a lot of emails, whatever, about the mind muscle connection and what it is. Man, what, what, what do you think about the mind-muscle connection? Do I believe that when I'm doing an exercise, I can focus on a particular muscle to isolate it? Not necessarily. Now, if I want to bring a muscle up and I'm doing an exercise, and I'm thinking bicep, 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 <laughs> then yeah, I think my biceps are going to grow. But it's because I'm focusing more on the exercise and doing it with proper form mm -hmm. and doing as many reps or going beyond failure with it. Yeah. My opinion's always been the best mind muscle connection is back because you can't see it. I mean, that's the thing. I don't know how my back looks until I take a picture or, you know, you can't see your back. So it's not like with chest, you, sque you see it squeezing. Or unless you're too fat, you can't see anything happening. But if you're doing back, you have no choice but to feel it. You have to really go, okay, I'm feeling my back. And also, by thinking about your back muscles working, it kind of takes your arms out of it. You're activating the back, and your arms are used more of a handle as opposed to as the dominant activated muscles. I do think there's a place for my muscle connection, and one of Dorian's theories for why his training system only works for once you're advanced is because the fact the mind muscle connection is part of it isn't built up in that person. They can't truly push themselves beyond failure. Uh, I've definitely noticed that the, be the biggest place I've seen that. It's like in my ab workout. And I don't do a whole lot of abs. But when I do, I can do significantly less crunches now mm -hmm. than I could two years ago. Now, do I believe my core is weaker? No, my core is significantly stronger. Yeah. But I definitely believe when I'm doing a sit-up, I'm working more abs than I am. Um, auxiliary, auxiliary muscles in it. Damn, that's a big word. Yeah, you know, so the thing is, my muscle connection does exist. Um, I used to always tell my clients when I used to train people, when I first started, I always had a phrase, you can feel a bench press in your quads if you focus on it. And if you really focus, if, you, if your mind, I mean, think mind muscle flexing is mind muscle right now. Boom. I flex my chest. Why? My mind thought it flexed the muscle. So if you're not thinking about flexing the muscle, you know, you could be doing the motions, but are you getting that boom, that flex? So I think anytime you really contract a muscle, there's your mind muscle connection. So yeah, it fucking matters. It absolutely does, but to say that if you don't have one, you know, you should have one. If you're doing a bench press, you're going to be thinking about pushing it up and contracting your chest, or else this shit's going to fall on your face. Yep. Yeah, I think that, that explains, that's all I got to say about mind muscle. You got anything? I do it. Nah, just, just, <laughs> just think about the muscle you're working, and worst case scenario, you get a better flex at the top. Bro Fitness, peace.